Welcome to Great Safe TV. Today's special broadcast has been brought to you uh, because I've had two uh, customers, Aaron and Alvin, who've put together this video we're going to show you in a minute. And they've put together a video because they wanted to take a look at the World Cup football. All the talk during the World Cup has been about the, the Giovanni football, the new Adidas football. There's been so much talk that it's too light, it's flying through the air, and it's an absolute nightmare for goalkeepers. So the goalkeeping community uh, have had much talk on the glovebag.com and other forums across the world and everybody wants to know a bit more about this football. So as goalkeepers, Aaron and Alvin have put together a, a, sh a short video and they've taken a look at different training drills where they've put the ball in against Nike, Mitre and, and, and other footballs and they've tried to compare the Adidas ball to the other balls and to sort of see what sort of difference it is for a goalkeeper. It's well worth a watch. Here we go. Orange. Blue. <laughs> See that? That's the ball, yeah? Yeah, it's still kept it out. It's still kept it out. Orange. What? Green. Blue. Oh, keep it down, keep it. Green. I want to volume. Lob him. Save. Up again. You're going. Are you ready? Go, go! Well done. Go down, you're too, mate. Alright, mate, I'll show you how to jump. Oh, not bad. You show him up, yeah? Yeah. But, like, obviously on the target. Hey, do you want to come here? Do I come there? Oh, yeah, oh when you're ready. Yeah, I like Bao. Yeah, that's perfect. Bilal, you there? Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Bell. Go on. Oh, you. Yeah. Oi! Oh! Oi! Oi! What? 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 It's a good goal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! Well, don't, don't, get, don't get defensive. What's that? Alright, when you're ready. Safe. Safe. Third one, third one. Uh -huh. yeah. No! No, 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 I'm not having that. Hey, stop going for goal, though. Just give him a good shot, man. That's it. Bam, that's it. Yeah, but he's you score. You keep trying to dink him, bro. Me? No, he's doing the right thing. Keep you anyway. He's trying to dink him. Yeah, I don't mind that too much. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Well done. Louis, cross it for you, man. <laughs> get that ball, get that ball. Come on.
Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go through our opinions of the ball and whether it is as bad as everyone claims to it and if it really is a cursed ball. So, guys, any opinions? Yeah, um, the ball, it doesn't seem as bad as people be making out to be. It's a nice round ball, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Not many panels. Round is for weather, yeah. mate. Comparing it to the mitre, it looks slightly bigger, but maybe that's illusion because there's a lot more white and a lot less panels. Yeah. So. In general, once you strike the ball, it's a lot lighter to strike. You feel the ball, once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, it's just strike through it, lovely. It's very easy to strike, and as a goalkeeper, it is a nightmare because it does move. I wouldn't say it moves as much as it does in the World Cup, but obviously, you have to remember that in the World Cup, they're playing in altitude. But when it does move, it moves right at the last minute. So you might see it, you see it in, in some of the drills, but to save it, and it's just moving, sort of fun with it. And also, once it's hit with, a, with pace, it's difficult for the goalkeeper because it's there, then it's in the net. It's really hard to keep track of. But any opinions, guys? I'll strike yeah, this. Well, is exactly what I think for an on-field player, I mean an outfield player, I feel like like they're going to love it. They're going to love it because, you know, you give the touches on it a beautiful... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you hit it, once you're used to it, that is, once you're used to it. And I think maybe it takes a few hours to get used to it and you can give it a nice hit after. Good call. Adjust yourself to it, you know? As you see with the video, even I scored a few shots, which is kind of, <laughs> kind of rare. But once you hit it, it's gone back in there. Blink and you miss it. Do you see what a ball like that? You can't I think the strike would love it. It's too light. It's a little bit light than yeah. you. Really. So our general, our overall third is, is that it is a difficult ball to control. As an outfield, if you're striking it or when uh, Alvin took his goal kicks, they were lovely. But for a goalkeeper, they, they are an absolute nightmare yeah. to play shots from. You can see for yeah. a keeper, definitely. Ex especially when it's hit by pace. It doesn't take much to put power through this. All it needs is just a good, clean technique, Connection. and it's, it's gone. I can see how Rob Green spilled it in there. Yeah. After criticising yeah. him, yeah. Like, I was one of the main guys criticising him, but I kind of feel he's embarrassment that yeah. there was a couple. Exactly, but thanks for watching, guys. My name's Aaron, this is Alvin. Our two strikers, I'd like to thank Belair and, and Lewis. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you very much. It was really interesting to, uh, to hear their thoughts on the ball and to see it in action. Thanks guys for sending that in to us. It was very kind of you to do so. Uh, it was great to see what you thought as goalkeepers of, of this football in it. Obviously seems it is it is particularly light and it, it is a bit of a nightmare for, uh, for, for keepers out there at the minute. Thanks for watching today's broadcast and we'll see you again soon.